Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sticking around to see what comes next in this epic journey we all know as Star Citizen. I'm The Laminal, and this is The Issue Council. For those of you new to the channel, thank you for checking out what is shaping up to be a great new adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and if you have any suggestions for me, put them in the comments below. One thing I've noticed through the years watching the development and progress of Star Citizen is that people seem to forget that this game is in alpha development. We are so fortunate as a community to be involved in a project of this scope and magnitude. They have given us, the community, unprecedented access to what goes on behind the scenes in the studio. This doesn't happen with other games. This is a new frontier in game development that I can see other studios wanting to eventually emulate. We have been given a huge assortment of tools by CIG that allow us to help shape the game we are currently playing. One of those tools is the Issue Council. Now, I look at this as a very underrated and underappreciated tool by the community at large. I don't mean to sound negative about this, and I'm definitely not calling anybody out by any means. I know a lot of you use the Issue Council, but for those that don't, I hope you hear me. Look, I've been guilty of it in the past myself, and in my experience, it's attributed to a lack of insight as to how truly powerful this tool is. CIG has given us a golden goose with the ability to directly affect the current and future builds of the game. We can report bugs as they happen. We can then attempt to reproduce or experience what others have immediately and provide insight to the team at CIG on where the bug is and how better to address it. But recently I've discovered while searching through the current list of bugs, there are redundant and silly reports that we know are being addressed as they're listed in the roadmap. Like low FPS in Port Alizar. We know. CIG knows. It's part of the package's fixes they have listed on the roadmap. So, to the meat and potatoes of this video. What I'm looking to accomplish is in the Prioritize tab of the Issue Council. I want to address some of the top concerns of the community that aren't already being addressed in the roadmap and boost those votes on the ones that we, the community, see as the biggest issues. Also, I'd like to find those hidden gems buried deep in the depths of the Issue Council that may never see the light of day because they expire. My plan is to start doing a weekly piece on this severely misunderstood and underutilized tool CIG has so graciously given us. If you haven't already, head over to the RSA website and follow the links under Development, then Issue Council. If you don't know how it works, take a minute to take the tour. If you know what you're doing, head to the current build listed. When you get there, take a look through the Contribute tab and see if any of those current bugs have popped up for you. See if you can contribute to the next list of bugs before they move on to the Prioritize stage. After you've taken a minute to see if anything over there is bugging you, click over to Prioritize and see what you can upvote to help CIG continue making the best damn space sim ever. I can't thank you all enough for stopping by and seeing where this journey is headed. I sincerely hope that I can provide you all with not only entertainment, but also insight and maybe even help ease some tension that we've all experienced for some reason or another, whether it be it's taking forever or why is this so buggy? It's alpha, people. Let's just remember that and use our golden goose to help this game progress along. Without us, there is no star citizen. So keep those heads cool and push those up boats. It's coming and we're helping it along. Thanks again, and until next time, I'll see you in the verse.